welcome back to another video basic chemistry in SSC exams today you will learn the following topic atoms molecules element and periodic table electronic configuration valency or valence electron types of bonding chemistry of hydrocarbons or organic chemistry under the subheading saturated hydrocarbons example is alkenes unsaturated hydrocarbons example is alkenes and alkynes then alkyl groups functional groups and in the last session we will be discussing the CPO and CGL past year questions so now let's start the topic of atoms in 1808 John Dalton presented his atomic theory to explain the properties of matter this theory becomes one of the foundations of modern chemistry. An atom is the smallest particles of element that can exist and take part in a chemical reaction. And a very important one here, hydrogen atoms is the smallest atom known. It is atomic radius as you all know or aware about SSC portion questions where they usually ask the exceptional one the biggest smallest and things etc components of atom atom consists of proton neutron and electron so if I draw the structure of atom it will be like this this is atom and inside it is it has nucleus nucleus will have protons that is positive charge and neutron that is neutral negative uh, zero charge and outside it it is electron and the basic fundamental difference between chemistry and physics lies here the area of interest for physicists is the nucleus as most of the weight of an atom and the energy inside uh, resides inside this nucleus on the other hand the area of interest for chemist is this electron as electron surrounds the atoms which take part in the chemical reaction as you know chemistry is all about chemical reaction now we will draw the structure of carbon atoms carbon is atomic number is six so if we draw the structure of atoms of carbon then inside the nucleus there will be six proton six proton and neutrons also there will be six and outside surrounding the atoms that is electrons also there will be six electron five six so this is applicable for all the elements if the elements have 10 atomic number then there will be 10 protons and 10 neutrons and 10 electrons but electrons may vary depend depending on the chemical reactions that the elements undergoes now we will go to visualization of the real structure of an atoms an atom with five kilometer radius five kilometer radius then the nucleus will be the size of a cricket ball five kilometer radius the nucleus will be the size of a cricket ball this is the actual visualization of the structure of atoms then coming to the founder of electrons that is JJ Thompson in 1897 electron was discovered by him and called as plum budding model then Rutherford discovered protons which is in 1886 gold foil Chadwick discovered neutrons which have no charge in 18, 1932 now we will go to molecules molecules is an electrically neutral group of two or more atoms chemically bounded together this is molecule example is oxygen 
and carbon dioxide. Then compound is a substance that can be broken down into two or more simpler substance by chemical means. And the example is water, which is uh, made up of two elements that is hydrogen and oxygen. Now coming to element, element is a substance which cannot be broken down into simpler substance by chemical or physical means. So it is made up of only one kind of atoms and there are 118 element known at present where 90 occur naturally and 28 have been synthesized so element element can be solids liquids or gas so this is periodic table the hor uh, horizontal elements are called grouped and uh, coming from top to bottom that is period this is period period 1 period 2 period 3 4 5 6 and 7 so the first group here group 1 is called the alkali earth metals and the second group is the alkaline earth metal and the 17th group is called the group of halogen 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 and the group 18 is called as the noble gas noble gas or inert gas why because they are unreactive in nature since they are full since they have attained the octet st uh, structure octet rules they don't participate in the chemical reaction so what happens is that they don't go out and interact with others to help or to gain from others as they are full hence there are noble gas and for SEC point of view the elements and the atomic number from 103 and 118 is very important to know and for SSC exams one has to know at least uh, up to atomic number 20 if you, you fail to remember all the elements at least up to 20 atomic number one has to know Electronic configuration the arrangement of electrons in the various energy levels of atoms of an element is called electronic configuration so energy level This is energy level And the lowest orbital here is called K L M and N the maximum number to be filled in the lowest orbital is 2 and second is 8, third is 18, and last is 36. So let us draw the electronic configurations of an element. For example, atomic number, atomic number 17, that is chlorine. Lowest orbital will have 2 electrons, the second orbital will have 8 electrons maximum, 2, 3, 4, five six seven eight and the total is 17 so 10 plus 7 left is 7 to be filled three four five six seven so this is the electronic configurations of chlorine two eight and seven since seven electrons are present in the outermost shield of an atom this is called valence electron valence electron is here Valence electron. Then another example is sodium. Sodium atomic number is 11. So lowest orbital will have 2. The second will have 8, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the outermost shield will have only one electron. So electronic configuration of sodium is 2, 8, 1. So this is the valence electron of sodium. Another example is carbon 
atomic number is 6 then orbital lowest orbital 2 and then outer orbital is 4 then 2 and 4 2 and 4 this is the valence electron of carbon now before coming to types of bonding let us try to understand what is octet rule the attainment of electron the attainment of eight electrons for stable structure is called octet rule so every element who does not fulfill the octet rule they try to participate or interact with other elements so that they could fulfill the octet rule to become a stable structure so that is why bonding started bonding means a force that acts between two or more atoms to hold them together as a stable molecules so we have types of bonding that is ionic bond and covalent bond ionic bond means complete transfer of electrons so let us take the example of sodium and chlorine the interest of chemistry is the outermost shield where electrons is present so in the case of sodium the outermost electron is one and the chlorine is seven so by having the lewis dog structure here sodium is one so in order to have a stable structure sodium have two options one is to take seven from others and the second option is give away one and give away one to others and become stable so if you give away one it becomes ten that becomes uh, that fulfill the octet rules on the other hand chlorine have also have two option one is get one from others second option may take or give away give away seven to others so what happened in reality for sodium taking seven from others is too difficult in the other sense if we talk about from the human perspective sodium have to spend lot of in lot of money to get seven from others so that way sodium in order to get seven from others he needs lots of energy to spend which is not possible for sodium on the other hand to give away one to others becomes much easier and cheaper means that is why sodium follow this the second option on the other hand chlorine also the same to get one from others is much easier than to give away all the seven to others so that way sodium give away one electrons to chlorine and becomes 10 and chlorine take one electron from sodium and become 18 so they both fulfill the octet rules hence this is the type of ionic bond where complete transfers of electrons take place and they become the sodium chloride a stable molecules coming to covalent bond that is sharing of electrons let's take the example of methane methane is ch4 by drawing the lewis dot structure carbon has four electrons in the outermost shield so in order to fulfill the octet rule or to have a stable structure carbon have three options one is take four from others second option is give away four to others and the third option is share four with other uh, i mean share four with others so what happened with carbon to option one and two to take four from others and give away four to others becomes too difficult for carbon to do so that is why 
carbon go for the third option that is sharing of four electrons with others and we also know hydrogen have one electrons in their orbit exception of octet group for carb hydrogen since uh, hydrogen have the maximum uh, orbit uh, which can have field maximum is two so to have a stable structure both carbon and hydrogen needs electrons so what happened carbon share with one electrons to carbon and becomes a stable structure now hydrogen has become two 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 and carbons also share with four hydrogens to become a stable structure now he becomes carbon becomes eight so this is how they share electrons and becomes a stable structure now they becomes a stable structure that is ch4 chemistry of hydrocarbons a compound made up of only carbon and hydrogen is called a hydrocarbons example methane ethane and so on types of hydrocarbons types of hydrocarbons made first one is saturated hydrocarbons or alkanes an alkane is a hydrocarbon which is which the carbon atoms are connected only by a single bond so the names of alkane alkanes end with a and e and the formula is general formula is c and h2 and plus 2 IU packed names of some umbrans saturated hydrocarbons. Let us try to understand what is this form of alkanes. In chemistry, we don't number the chemical formula as 1, 2, 3. Instead, they name as methane, ethane, propane, and butane, and so on. So, methane is named as 1, and ethane is named as 2. Why? We will uh, draw the structure here. Methane is named as 1 because methane has 1C. Ethane is named as 2 because they have 2C. And propane is named as 3 because they have 3C. Here, 3C. Formula also 3C. And butane is named as 4Y because it has 4C. And in order to fulfill the stable structure of carbon we just have to fill by h carbon can have only four bonds be very careful when you fill the structure of carbons because if you have filled five or less than four say three it becomes your structure becomes wrong so methane is ch4 let's see one and h4 and uh, ethane have C2 and H1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, C H. And pentane is 5 because there are C5. And hexane is 6. Why? Because there are 6 C and so on and so forth. So now later on, Eugene, you can uh, do the exercise by yourself. You just have to fill the carbon to fulfill the stable structure by filling the carbon bonds with four hydrogens like this in every of the C fill the carbon or hydrogens then you become the structures of methane, ethane, propane and tiltecan now coming to unsaturated hydrocarbons that is alkenes and alkynes a hydrocarbons in which two carbon atoms are connected by double bond or triple bond is called unsaturated hydrocarbon so alkenes are having double bonds alkynes having triple bonds now coming to cyclic hydrocarbons the hydrocarbons in which the carbon atoms are arranged in the form of a ring are called cyclic hydrocarbons let's take the example of 
these cyclic hydrocarbons. This is a triangle shape and in chemistry the end of the bone are attached by C. So this is 3C hence uh, cyclic propane or cyclopropane. Now to have the stable structure of carbon filled by four bones. So this is the structure of cyclopropanes and the same with this structure. This is 4C and becomes the cyclobutane and fill the H by filling the stable structure of carbon with four bonds. So this becomes the cyclopropanes. And now benzene here benzene is a six ring with alternate bones and this and this is the same c c with alternate bones now to have the stable structure carbon will have four bonds one two three four one two three four so will be filled by H so this structure here and this structure here is the same in book you will be seeing this uh, can be uh, this uh, ring structure in the book now coming to alkyl group alkyl group the group formed by removal of hydrogen atoms from alkane molecule is called alkyl group so one h is removed and it becomes ch3 so this is called alkyl group functional group functional group is one of the most important topics so far if you see the past your question of lsc you will be seen uh, every year a question from this topic so it is very important Functional group is a group of atoms that is largely responsible for chemical behavior of the parent chain or parent molecules. Example is methane. Methane is a gas. When alcohol group is attached, then they becomes methanol, which is an alcohol and a liquid. And now the functional group that is aldehyde ketone alcohol like for example when a parent chain molecule that is a propane propane and uh, alcohol group is attached then it becomes propanol e is removed and ol is attached the same way with aldehyde when aldehyde group is attached the E is removed, the parent chain E is removed and AL is added, then it becomes propanol. And when ketone is attached, then the E is removed and it becomes the propanone and so on. So now coming to some important terms of chemistry, isotopes. Isotopes have the same number of protons. But different number of neutrons and mass number examples potium here deuterium tritium and isobars isobars have the same mass number but different atomic number that is sulfur 16 chlorine 17 argon 18 but they have the mass number 40 40 the same and isomers here isomers compound having the same molecular formula but with different structure we will come to discuss this in detail in the solving of the past two questions allotropes allotropes is the variance of substance consistent of only one types of atoms the only one types of atoms or element example is diamond graphite graphene fullerenes they are all made up by carbon chains or carbon atoms that is why it is called carbon allotropes now before coming to solve the past two questions let's let us do some exercise to help you draw the structures of some organic compounds. So this may not uh, directly ask an exam, but by knowing this kind of structure, it will help you build confidence in solving chemistry questions in any exams. 
so let us go to one example that is 2 methyl 2 methyl hexene so if you were asked to draw this structure then how will you draw okay so let's go step by step the first thing that we have to do is to identify the parent chain here to identify to identify the parent chain here is hexene. Hexene is the 6 carbon atom. So let us draw the 6 carbon atom. That is hexene is 6 carbon atom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And it'll, let us also number the carbon atoms. 4, 5 and 6. So in the second thing, this methyl group is attached in the second carbon chain so let's try to attach the methyl group here that is methyl group is ch3 and there is a position here e and e is a double bond so the double bond is attached in the fifth position of carbon so attach the carbon bond here this is the fifth so the rest in order to fill the carbon to have a stable structure with hydrogen atoms fulfilling the octet rules that is 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 and 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 4 this is the structure of 2 methyl hexene so h h if you see the lewis dot structure you will have the structure like this hydrogen is one carbon is like this so they're sharing the carbon atoms with hydrogens and this is the same as this ch3 c ch3 ch ch2 then ch2 ch double bond and ch2 so when you are new to chemistry try to draw the structure so that you don't miss out the carbon atoms now let us do another exercise 2 chloro 3 ethyl octane so the first thing what you have to do is identify the parent chain. Parent chain here is all the octane. So octane is a uh, eight carbon atom. So let's try to draw the structure of eight carbon chain. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and number it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here the chloro is attached in the two carbon atoms here so let's draw the chloro here and ethyl is attached in the three carbon here that is ethyl is ch ch2 and ch3 this is ethyl group and the fifth position means there is a triple bond here fifth bond is here one two three now we just have to fill the hydrogen to have the stable structure of carbon that is one is here two three and four and for this carbon one is already here two three and four for this carbon one two three and four one two three four and then here one two three four so this carbon does not have to fill by h this also same thing one two three and four one two three four one two three four so this is the structure of chloro 2 chloro 3 ethyl octi oct 5 in time now the last structure let's take the example of bu t null so identify the parent chain parent chain is 4c butane is 4c 1 
2 3 and 4 now there is here double bond so when they have not specified the position of double bond or the functional group then you can attach anywhere in the structure so let us attach this double bond here in the center and then O uh, nol is an alcohol group so let us attach this alcohol group in the last here OH now fill the H to have the stable structure of carbon so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 and 4 1 2 3 and 4 one two three four this is the structure of butanol butanol now let us let us solve the passive questions now the passive question of SSC question is number one is halogen have dash electrons in their automos shield halogen is the group 17 group 17 group 17 elements so group 17 element just take any example whether it is fluorine or chlorine so we have taken the example of uh, chlorine in the discussion so let us take this example of chlorine chlorine have the electronic configuration 2 8 and 7 since chlorine have 7 electrons in the outermost shield so the right answer is number 7 now in these questions among the given element which confers in the periodic table of elements this is a CPO 2019 neon is 10 sodium is 11 silicon is 16 and potassium is 19 so obviously neon confers in the periodic tables the right answer is a now coming to next question hydrogen resembles the properties of which two groups of periodic table as you all know Hydrogen belongs to group 1 So there will be group 1 and hydrogens have like this Need one more electrons to fulfill or to have a stable structure So the same way with Group 17 which is halogen. They also need 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so they also need one more electrons to have a stable structure that is why hydrogen resembles the group 17 so the right answer here is option number c that is group 1 and group 17 this is cgl main 6 march 2023 now coming to next question which of the following is an aldehyde groups aldehyde is a cho group and when aldehyde group is attached it becomes al is removed and al becomes so the right answer here is propanal this is o ol is alcohol group non group is n o n e is ketone group and propyne here is a triple bonds group now coming to next questions methyl propane is an isomer of so cgl 4 june 19, 2019 shift 1 so let us first try to draw the structure of methyl propane the parent chain here is propane means 3c 1 2 and 3 if the methyl group is attached in the one here it becomes butane here or here it becomes butane so what happened the only option where propane may methyl group attach will be methyl propane is the central group here so methyl group attached here and this is methyl propane and the chemical formula molecular formula is 3 c4 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 h10 so this is the molecular formula of methyl propane so we will have to find out what is isomer isomer is the compound having the same molecular formula but with different structure so we will find out from among the option which would have the same molecular formula so if we see the molecular formula of methyl propane is C4H10 N signifies normal so normal hexane means it is just a structure of hexane 
So n butane, n propane, and n pentane. If we see hexane, hexane is C6, butane is C4, propane is C3, pentane is C5. So if we see this option, we could have figured out the answer that it would be C4. But if you are not convinced with this C4 and C things, we will try to draw the structure of n-butane and uh, extract the molecular formula. So let's draw the structure of butane. Butane have C4, C4, and to have the stable structure, let us fill the carbon with this is n-butane. H, 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 and H. So this is the structure of and butane so uh, let's draw the molecular formula also C there is C4 and H1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so H was 10 so the right answer the same molecular structure is different here but molecular formula is the same so the right answer here is N butane so the example of isomers having compound having same molecular formula with different structure is methylpropane and n-butane. Now next question identify the class of compounds that has functional group OH. OH is an alcohol group. This is CGL men's 3rd March 2023. So alcohol is the right answer. And what's the chemical formula for aldehyde group? That is CPO October 4 shift 3 2023 so aldehyde another aldehyde group with same question here so the right answer is option number d c h o which among the following is inside the nucleus of an atoms that is combined higher secondary level 7 jan 2017 so if you see protons and neutrons have the structure inside the nucleus electrons is outside the nucleus so those options which have electrons can be also eliminated so the right answer is option number a i hope you like the video thank you for watching